right, so welcome back to the channel again. This is a part two of my fifth ops tripwire camp safe, whatever you want to call it if you're trying to Google it or look it up. It's a part two to that video. If you've seen my first one, that's actually what I titled it, uh, fifth ops tripwire. If you want to know full details on the product, how to set it up, how to use it, um, sure, just go watch that video. This is a part two. So I don't say this to be, I don't know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to be braggy, okay? But listen, I live in a really nice neighborhood. Um, houses are up to like $800,000. It's on a golf course and it's a safe neighborhood and it's not in the city and it's nowhere near a city. So just with that being said, uh, people just, I don't know what their problem is around here, but this is about, I don't know, maybe the 18 millionth time there's one of those next door apps for our neighborhood, and I just can't count how many times people post cars were burglarized, um, cars were stolen, things taken out of my husband's truck. Uh, yeah, I guess we should lock our doors. You know, I, so again, this happens a few days ago. So a few days ago, two cars were stolen. Uh, I was just talking to my neighbor who actually said that one of them was broken into, like smashed the window. So. In these reports in the neighborhood, people are saying they're taking firearms, they're taking ammunition, they're taking valuables. And everyone just keeps saying over and over again, maybe I should lock my doors. You know what? Maybe you freaking should. Okay? It doesn't matter if you live in a safe neighborhood. There's going to be some freaks that come out of Freakville and decide to come in, yeah, to a nice neighborhood and try to see what they could steal there. So I just said, you know what? I, I, like, I'm just, screw this. So number one... Um, I always recommend having a camera system. You got to have a surveillance system. Everybody has at least a, a freaking um, ring doorbell, whatever the case is. Um, if you haven't, I, I mean, I know most of you, uh, you know, come here to watch the truck videos and the uh, Ruger LCP2 video. That's, that's fine. You know, I'm not here to try to be famous, but if you want to know more about a good camera system, look at my Arlo Pro 2 system. Now, that's just a picture of the night vision, but watch that video. Watch my first Fifth Ops Tripwire video. So what I did was I'm like, I'm going to hook this up to my truck and a tree. But then some of you might be thinking, yeah, but you have to tie the string to the grenade pin and then tie it to something else. Do I really want to be cutting that string every day and, and uh, setting this whole thing up again? Well... Because I spent so many years as a child growing up watching this. Yeah. So basically, this is a, a show about a do-gooder who drives around in a Jeep and all he has is a Swiss Army knife. And uh, an F-16 could be launching a missile at him. And somehow, with his Swiss Army knife and a straw and a leaf, he can deflect the missiles. Anyway, that's what the show was about. So here I am thinking, if you watch my other channel, Red Right Return, it's about jet skiing, fishing on a jet ski, and of course the maintenance of a wave runner. Um, so I'm thinking to myself, uh, you know, the, these, these Q words come into my head. So how can I hook this thing up with the string <laughs> to where I can, um, it, it can be easy to set up and take down. So what I want to show you is what I took was a fishing hook. And I ran the string through the fishing hook and did a slip knot. So that hook goes around the antenna of my truck. The string then goes all the way down and connects to the grenade pin on another fishing hook. <laughs> so therefore, um, I'm going to show you the video of, of how I, where it is and how I set this thing up and how I take it down. Someone comes up to my truck, you know, again, you're not discharging a firearm. It's not a gun. It's not a bullet. There's no projectiles. There's not even any debris. So when someone comes up to try to steal something, bang, that's all they're going to hear. It's about up to here as well. So if any dog walks by or anything like that, um, it's, it, it's, it's not going to trip. So I told my neighbor, uh, because he has small kids, I, I just said, look, um, if you feel strongly about this, I won't set it up. But here's what the device is. Here's what it does. I know you have small kids. You know, at night, if they happen to be outside and they happen to be at this little tree, that, that uh, they could set it off. 
he was all about it. So anyway, I at least told him that, so so he'll know. And I also told him if you if you hear a bang in the middle of the night, um, it's not a gun. It's my little camp safe tripwire. But uh, if you have any feedback on anything, sure, leave a comment. Um, maybe you have some other ideas to anything about my guns, my ammo, anything about you know working on the truck, whatever the case is. So have a good day, Semper Fi. Yep. Yeah.